I always love to do videos that actually come from questions that I get. And uh, and this week is one of those where I got the question recently, but as I kind of thought through, I've been asked this question in different forms quite a bit. So let me explain what it is. You have a, you have a whole library full of photos. Let's say you know, I've got 56,000 in my library right now. And uh, somebody had wanted to export these photos to watermark them when they export them, save them as JPEGs and watermark them, which we can do automatically. But they wanted the current year or the, the year that the photo was taken to go on that. Okay. And that's where things get a little bit hairy because you really can't do that. Let's take a look. If you go up here to the file menu, I go down to export, right? I can open up my watermarking panel and I can go in here and I can edit this. But what you're going to see is that I can't dynamically put in anything as, as the watermark text. Okay. I can put text in here, but it's going to be the same exact text on every single photo. So I can't dynamically put anything here. So what you can do is kind of, it, it, it's not a total fix, but it is something that I think would significantly speed up what you want to accomplish here. Whether it's the current date or could be any number of things, um, that, that really are associated with your metadata. What you could do is this, all right, come down here and let's say I'll put 2011, Matt Kleskowski. All right, come in there and maybe we'll even change the font. Let's go, I like Arial Black, it's kind of thick. And uh, we'll come down here, maybe increase, increase the size a little, no, not that much. Increase the size a little bit, maybe reduce the opacity and maybe we'll put it right along the bottom. Okay, so so there it is. That's that's what would happen on every photo that got exported. If this is what you're looking for, what I would do is I would save this, and I'd call it 2011. Save this as a preset. Okay, come back over here. Go back into the watermarking panel. Go to Edit Watermarks, and then just change this to 2010. Save, and call this preset 2010. Hit create. Do that for all the potential years that you'd want to do this for. Again, this could be, you know, I've heard people that want to put f-stop on there. I've heard people that want to put the location, all, all these different things that you might want to put. So you would create presets, watermarking presets for different things like that. Then what you do is you use Lightroom's filter bar. Okay. If you come up here to the view menu, you go down here to filter bar, use Lightroom's filter bar to help you out because Lightroom is not going to let me correlate the photos that were shot in 2010 to automatically get exported in that 2010 watermark. I can't make it automatically happen unless I at least go in here, I go to my metadata and I filter this to only photos that were taken in 2010. Then I simply just come up here and do edit, select all file, and I can do export with preset or not export with preset. I go to export and then I just scroll down here and I just choose the preset that I have, so 2010. I would go and I would export those photos. And then I'd come back over here and I'd go to 2011, okay? So now I have all the photos that were shot in 2011, come up here to the file menu, go down to export, go into my watermarking, okay? And just change this to 2011 and so forth. So it's, again, there, there's, there's only so much you can do with this watermark. And one of the problems with it is, is you can't really dynamically put anything in there. But what you can do is use Lightroom to kind of help you along the way a little bit. If you can create presets for what you need and use some of the things in Lightroom to kind of nudge you and, and to, to be able to search through your photos very quickly, because Lightroom's really good at that. That's why we use Lightroom. We get access to all this metadata information where I can very quickly find all photos that were taken in 2011. Now, in just a matter of seconds, I can actually do something with these photos based on what date that they were taken. Okay. Folks, hope you enjoyed. Again, keep the questions coming, whether it's on lightroomkillertips.com. Um, I'm always there. There's always people that, that visit the site that answer questions. It's a great place to send tutorial requests in. Uh, you can visit my Google Plus page, my Facebook page, Twitter. Uh, just look up my name on, on Google for any of those things, and you'll find all those different pages. Again, thank you very much. We'll talk to you again soon.